learn how to debug your own code by looking through the error message you should be able to understand and fix your own code welcome to ksi data research let's get started ksi data research just open the sql server and here is our error code the violation of primary key constraint and cannot insert duplicate key to the table is worker all right so we are going to generate this issue this code this violation code and then we'll fix it so how we can do that let's start it go to first we are going to create a table the worker okay so in order to create this worker table we have to select the database we want it to create this table so first the practice under the practice we are going to create this table okay so execute the practice first so now it is the practice right here we are going to create this table all right so this uh, worker table has a four column id name gender salary so let's execute this table okay command complete successfully so now let's check the table select all from in from worker all right so execute this line of code you can see right here is generate only four column so id name gender salad so there is a no data right here so now we can insert some data to this table so let insert some data so we can say insert into into worker and then values we can say for the id one for the name we can put any name and then for gender we can put anything like a male here and then we can put some salary for this dawn we can put 2000 any salary all right so this is line of code the insert into the work we can run it and then if we can see select all from worker we can see there is a one line of code we generated one row here so if we keep running this keep running this and then check it again we can see is generate a number of rows with the same value here you can see the number of rows with the same values so id has all same and all the column has the same value all right so now we we can now we can delete this data from the table delete from worker so there would be no data into the table right now see all the six rows has been deleted so now in this table if we, if we add if we alter this table and add the primary key to the table so what we have to write alter table table name and add primary key primary key to the column id okay so if we run this the table will be the worker table will be altered okay, okay. so if we execute this command complete successfully so now if you see run this you will see one row affected and see see one row was generated one row was generated so now if you try to run again it will give you that error message the violation of primary key constraint because the primary key column cannot take duplicate value all right so in order to uh, fix it you have to just change this number if you put one here is if you put two now if we run it there would be no issue 
And if you go continuously two, three, four, five, there would be no issue for this table anymore. Okay. Now, if you check, you'll see all that all that uh, column over here. All the rows are different. You can see the ID here is one, two, three, four. So primary key constraint, the primary key cannot accept the duplicate value, all right? And there is a primary key has another constraint. Primary key cannot also accept the null value. All right, I think you got the idea. That's how you can fix your code, fix your error message. You can debug your code. Thank you, thank you for watching.